Hello and welcome to the Divide Conquer Overhaul version 7 Talios Bridge faction overview of Bree. A Wildman faction and if you've noticed by this point we're doing by the list. If you ever looked at the export describe unit uh, file you will notice there's a list of how the factions go and that's how I'm doing these overviews because by this point all factions are changed. They're no, no longer segmented. Um, couple of things need to clear up. One, I'm sorry I didn't showcase the economy in the Rohan uh, overview. Point being is, it's going to be in the red. Everything is in the red in the beginning. You're gonna need some time to build up. Pure and simple. Uh, second of all, I fixed the silver sir, uh, the silver horses. Apparently, uh, my mistake, I was using a very old uh, template of the unit. The, the, uh, the stats, the special tags and all that. So. I had to accommodate for the new one. Luckily, that's finished. That's uh, fixed. So that's been dealt with. But let's talk about the Wild Man faction of Bree. Bree is very unique in a couple of things, primarily to its economy. Um, Bree doesn't get much income, if any income, from um, blacksmiths. Do you even get a blacksmith? Uh, sorry, mines. Let me see. Uh. Yeah, you don't even get mines. We can see here. Let me see. Uh, mines, 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 ports, roads. Uh, no, you don't even get. You don't even get um, mines. That's really weird. Uh, I think I. It's quite possible that I decided to completely remove mines for Bree. Anyway, if that if you do get a mine, Bree uh, gets very low income from mines, and the primary reason for that is is this. Look at this, a thousand gold of income from smiles. That's an insane amount. Then you get a hundred income from the Prancing Pony. Then you get your larger city giving you income of 800 and 500. Probably just 500 because of your tradable resource industry. Number one being uh, sugar, and sugar is tobacco. Um, if I remember correctly. It's, uh, it's this, it's the Hobbit Village. Then it's wine and then it's timber. So you are, you first of all, you are economically sad. Like, look at this, look at this, a thousand gold. Each of these villages gives a thousand gold to anyone who owns them. And of course you have the green dragon, which also gives a thousand. Don't ever worry about income as uh, Vri. You're actually in the black. You are definitely set for life. Well, not just set for life, but you're, you can definitely manage your economy to a certain degree. Um, as I've stated, you don't get the blacksmith, unfortunately, but you're compensated by having a very strong base in the Shire and uh, in Bree. Bree, of course, 5k income is amazing. Uh, Tarbat's Bridge gives to anyone who owns it. Oh, oh, sorry, that, I guess it's only for the elves. Um, I think that's for the elf song, yeah. but you get the fire, fire battle royal guard, which is pretty pretty good. You don't get any new uh, custom uh, generals. You have yours, of course. You have the the gatekeepers, which we're gonna showcase in uh, in the unit overview. You get your special Dunedain. The Dunedain, Dunedain, no, it's Dunedain. The Dunedain bodyguard, which is going to be your best range unit hands down, and you should always keep them safe. And of course, you're gonna have Bilbo Baggin. I did not want that. I did not. I did not want that. <laughs> you get the Vanderbrass archers, which are really decent for a wild man faction. Uh, in fact, you're pretty equal to Rohan and uh, the Lamrov when it comes to range. So uh, yeah. Something to be proud of. You're equal to Duna Diamond. Well, to the, the Lamar when it comes to range. Uh, let me just uh, get to, to just to see if I did any more changes to the campaign. Uh, I did not. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's go then look at the faction, the unit changes. And here we are with the unit overview. You can see I divided them uh, basically militia, hard militia, good militia, elites, and then uh, your uber elite. Or not, you don't have a legendary, but for your faction, even against uh, some armored factions and uh, orc factions, your uber elite. You're not gonna deal with the elves easily, but 
you're gonna have a decent time talking about that. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, I haven't talked about the Wildman rule, but I will cover it here. And I will cover it at the other Wildman factions, but I think I should cover it here. First and foremost, Wildman rule is simply this. Wildman factions don't get a lot of armor, but they have one unit that will get from the blacksmith that will have a lot of armor. That will be your elite unit. It will rival other elites. We're talking 20 armor or something like that. So quickly good armor. Bree is unique and doesn't have that. What Bree has is no armor anywhere, but these final ones. Your, your These merchant militias, basically, your merchant infantry is the one that has armor because they're bought units they're not your homeland units or homegrown units even if you will to say that or home trained these are specialized units and they will cost the most if i'm pretty sure and also have the best armor possible but let's first of all cover the humber lumberman there you go seven attack five charge pretty good effective against armor that's amazing for early game. You will sacrifice them because they only have total defense of three because leather is a, a pitch. But yeah, one armor and two defense kill. That's just... They will die to any archer possible. But if you manage to flank the enemy, theoretically speaking, you're going to have a good time killing their armored units. Because seven attack, and if they have 14 armor, which the elves usually do, or the Dunedain, you're gonna you're gonna have a decent time. Let's not talk about Angmar. Angmar is gonna have a great time. Um, dwarves, different story. Dwarves might actually be a little bit tough to crack. Uh, they are actually pretty cheap with the cost of being uh, 760 and the upkeep of 350. A very cheap unit, but with seven, you know, effective against armor and cheap. That's pretty pretty good. That's not bad at all. Bullet hunters are very unique for your faction. In fact, they might be your best archer. I, they probably are your best archer. They rival the Dunedain even. Because I like to think these guys are nothing but just pure trained to be archers. That's it. That's all they know what to do. They have 2 melee attack, 9 missile attack, which is amazing. And 2 charge bonus. With total defense of 7. 3 in armor and 4 defense kill. Um, a little bit heavily armored because they're hunters. They get better pelts, basically, for their leather. And uh, they have 9 missile nine uh, missile attack, which is just godlike for your... Uh, your faction but here's the catch they only have a range of 150 that's that's piss poor that is horrible yes they hit like a truck nine missile attack is amazing but the elves just outrange you the dunadite outrange you where this becomes amazing is other wild men because Bree is does have that influence of the Dunedines. So that's why they're better than the other wild men factions, but not in all cases. In the mill in missile, they are definitely better. Um, dwarves are gonna be have a trouble against this nine missile attack. This is basically amazing for early game. This is amazing, but if you have to fight rebels and they have uh, bullet hunters, good luck. You don't want to. Good luck. So I'm gonna say. But then we come to the sheriffs, the joke unit, if you will. Let me just see where they are located, because um, looking at it from my phone, it's going to be a hard time finding it. Because it, Bree has a lot of units. A lot of units. Merchant militia, merchant cavalry, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Watch sheriffs. So, uh, five attack, one uh, missile attack. Just. Yeah, effective against armor, that's pretty good. Uh, two charge bonus, which is uh, uh, okay. And total defense of seven. Three armor and four defense skill. Uh, I don't know. Actually, you have better. Like, you can, you have better uh, hobbits. So this is just bad. Do not recruit these. Recruit these if you can, but this, don't recruit them. And if you want to recruit hobbits, uh, Bando Brass Archers are your go-to unit. This is pretty, pretty bad. But let's talk about the cost. Uh, 1,185. That's too much. And an upkeep of 555. This is not worth it. They are not worth it. These, these are worth it. Because we're talking 8 melee attack, 6 missile attack, 2 charge bonus, can't hide anywhere, and total defense of 19 with 13 armor, 4 defense skill, and 2 shield. These actually might be good units, not militia. 
either way doesn't matter you can see the plate you can see the hard leather they are definitely armored I mean foot and armor is nothing but they're definitely armored but here's the catch that six missile attack that 19 total defense comes at a cost the cost is a range of 140 that's that's a uh, that's cavalry you know archer cavalry range that's horrible but yeah, yeah. what you gonna do and it also cost 2170 and an upkeep of 1015 they're good archers if you wanna have the kinda of the you know shot kinda of effect they're good in melee uh, but I would I would go for these guys like if you have to choose between your archers these are definitely your go to archer until you get the Dunedain units, which I are not showcased here, but you do get the Dunedain Rangers and Dunedain the Wardens. They're just not here because they'll be showcased in the Northern Dunedain. Next we have is the humble Breland Militia. Standard for Wildman. Nine, 6 attack, 2 charge, and total defense of 9. With 3 armor, 4 defense kill, and 2 shield. That is, uh... That is, uh, bad. That is, <laughs> that is not good. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Other Wildman factions actually outclass you in your militia. But that's why also it's kind of cheap with 1160 and upkeep of. Actually, that's not cheap. That's not cheap at all. For, this, for these stats, that's not cheap at all. Uh, uh, maybe this is where Bree just wins with the Huntsman. Yeah. But here we go Farmhead Pikemen, which are. Uh, Jokingly good, actually. Six attack and one charge. That's amazing. That's a uh, 18 attack basically because of the OP animation, and total defense of 10 with three armor and seven defense skill. So if you can actually, if you're facing uh, a faction or if you're facing an army that has no range units and cannot outflank you, these guys will destroy them. But if they have even a semblance of an archer in their fact in their army, uh, they're dead. They just don't, don't even try. Don't even try. But I can't showcase what they cost because these are mercenary, counted as mercenary units. Uh, so let's just say they're probably around a thousand gold, maybe even two thousand gold. So they're not cheap. But here we go to your uh, more standard unit. Two hundred of them, by the way. The archer militia with four melee attack, four missile attack, and two charge. That's uh, you know, maybe looking at it like, excuse me, what? They're worse than the. Then the, the hobbits, what? How? Well, first of all, these hobbits are probably good units. But either way, four mi missile attack is not bad for a wildman faction. That that's rivals Rohan and Dogul um, Dog 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 So that's pretty okay. But Total Armor, of course, is uh, seven. Total defense, sorry, is seven. With three armor and four defense skill. Yeah, don't count on your armor at all. But where's the you know where's the good thing about this? Good thing about this is 150 range. So they will actually outrange the, the hobbits, but also rival the huntsmen. Are they a suitable replacement for the huntsmen? Yeah. Or hunters, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't get hunters, get your militia. The four missile attack is not bad at all. It will deal with... Actually, it will deal with most uh, Factions, but the elves and even the northern Duendine can struggle against the four missile attacks. So that's uh that is not bad at all. Okay, next we gotta talk about your good units. <coughs> oh, oh no, the hiccups. I had a horrible hiccup attack. Um, let's hope it doesn't happen. Uh, Watchman Sword Guard, your aggressive good unit. With thirteen, oh no, with thirteen attack. 6 charge bonus and total defense of 24. I'm sorry, bear with this because I can't stop the recording. Uh, 14 armor and 6 defense kill and, and 4 shield. Oh no. I... I... <sighs> we have to go with this. Okay, so... Watchman Sword Guard, very good, very good offensive unit for your, for your faction. Not the best of the best, but uh, it will do. I, I would say it will do. Let me just find them. I'm so sorry about the hiccups, but I cannot. I just, I don't know why I'm having a hiccup attack. So such, a, 
at such times, but I do, I do. Um, their cost is actually pretty okay for this kind of stat. Oh, these stats: uh, 2,390 and 1,120. I can't stop them. I I don't know what's happening. Let, let me just let me see if I can do something about this. Okay, let's hope it's gone. So, Watchman Sword Guard, pretty good offensive unit for your faction. Pretty good. 13 attack is pretty okay. Six charge is fine. Nothing special. They're more like a offensive guard unit. 24 de total defense is pretty good. 14 armor is uh, okay. 6 defense skill is okay. And 4 shield is pretty good. And as I said, uh, the cost is 2390 and upkeep is 1120. They are pretty good. Get them. You have to get them, actually. So, yeah, get them. Uh, Green Bay Spearmen are your defensive unit, of course. With an uh, attack of 11. 4 charge, of course. Horrible. And total defense of 23. Funny enough, they have less, uh, less armor. But higher shield. Uh, the shield helps more because it blocks attacks and it blocks uh, archery or it negates archery, uh, archery fire sometime, uh, some, to some degree. Cost is 2,255 and upkeep is 1,080. That's pretty okay. The, all of these costs are pretty okay. I can't complain about that. Uh, next is the Watchman uh, Axe Guard with uh, effective against armor. 9 attack. That's pretty good. 9 charge bonus and total defense of 22 with 14 armor, again, 1 higher, but horrible defense skill and horrible shield. Uh, good shield, but bad total defense skill. So, uh, yeah, this is not bad armor. These all are not bad armor. I mean, for a wild man faction, even for a... Uh, no, no, for a wild man faction, Northmen will destroy you. Not destroy you, but they'll have an upper hand. Uh, and the cost of them is... Let me see where they are. Cost is 2,000... 410 and upkeep is 1140 so these are very these are cheaper than these two that's that's pretty pretty okay next we have is the watchman bogart which rivals the brandenburg's archers to a huge degree it can rival even the huntsman honestly so if you have to pick between these two maybe just go for the watchman bogart instead of the huntsman uh either way uh eight melee attack seven missile attack too small than the hunters, but higher armor and uh, higher range, if I remember correctly. Let me see. Uh, yes, 190 range. These are pretty good. These are your best archers, probably. Um, maybe not better than the crossman, but archer, archer-wise, these are probably your best archers, range, range-wise. You know, not, not talking about damage-wise. Uh, their cost is uh, 2,350 and the upkeep is 1,130. So they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Next we have is the Green Bay Riders. Okay, Cav. For a hunt, for development. Okay. Six attack. Bad, but they're heavy Cav. Light Cav, sorry. But in a twisted fate, uh, you know, they have a time charge bonus, which is not bad. And total defense of 22 with 13 armor, 5 defense skill, and 4 shield. I don't know why they have higher charge bonus than attack, but they do. I guess they're... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know why I gave them higher uh, higher charge bonus. But they do. I, you know, gets a little bit of variety. Because why not? Uh, they have a cost of 2,370 and upkeep is 1,100. That's pretty okay. Uh, your militia is the numbers game. This is your standard, basically amount of units. Next we have is the Dwarven Travelers with 9 melee attack, 7 missile attack and 3 charge bonus but total defense of uh, 20 with 6 armor, 14 uh, defense skill and 1 hit point. So do you even get these? I don't know. 150 armor is, uh, 150 um, range is pretty horrible. Maybe even less. Uh, I don't know honestly. If I have to choose, again, I would choose between these guys and the Hunters. That's it. These two should be your range units, and that's it. Nothing else, if you ask me. Uh, these are mercenaries, so I cannot look at them. Um, either way, now we talk about your crossbowmen. Four, uh, four melee attack, nine missile attack for crossbowmen, that's amazing. Plus a fifth of against armor, that's just amazing. And two charge bonus, with total defense of 14. Horrible, horrible total defense. 4 armor, 5 defense skill, 5 shield. That's horrible. Uh, and let me see what the range of them is. If I change the range. 
Oh, let's see where they are. Sorry about the yawn. Here we go. Range is 130. That's horrible. That that these are they're horrible. But hey, if you need to pierce armor, um, they can you know they're serviceable, and they have a cost of 1,000. Um, 1610 and upkeep of 760 that's okay it's okay cost but then we come to your elites your armor this is where you get your armor this is where everything if you want to stand a chance against the late game dunedain and late game uh, elves and dwarves and all the other armor factions that actually can destroy you you will just recruit these and of course you know between these two when it comes to uh, range Anyway, first we look at the merchant infantry. 11 attack effective against armor. That's just godlike. That's amazing. It's just 11 attack. That's amazing. 4 charge bonus and total defense of 32 with armor of 24 and 8 defense skill. That is just amazing. Amazing stats. Uh, which, I, you know, I said, you know, your uh, these merchant infantry will have the best of the best basically in your stats of your nation they also cost 3120 and upkeep of 1410 so good luck having large armies with these guys but they will uh, they will they will do a job they are your late game units and uh, they serve that role perfectly next we have is the merchant militia again same armor 24 and free shield so no defense skill though so armor piercing will destroy them but 12 attack and free charge. Uh, they are your defensive elite, basically. Offensive, defensive, and uh, anti infantry cavalry, which I would argue is horrible because nobody likes them, but that's fine. A cost of 3,000, though, and upkeep of 1,420. Damn expensive for Bree. Damn expensive. Nothing cracked the 3k mark. These are cracking 3k marks remarkably. Uh, Merchant Cavalry, 12 attack, 4 charge, and total defense of 26, with 24 armor and 2 shield and skilled against mounts. That's, uh, those are, again, great stats. Great stats. And we have a cost of, oh, wow, 2,965 and an upkeep of 1,350. So, let's say you have an, a, twen you know, a full stack army. 10 of these, or 10 of these, let's say 8 of these and 2 of these. These will in total cost you around roughly 50k to 60-70k so 50 to 70k just one full stack that is an insane amount of cost that's an insane cost it's good luck building more than one army of full merchant good luck we're not even talking we're not talking even without the archer so these are just pure these good luck uh next we have is the gatekeepers your I, I guess uber elites if you can't call them that because why not uh told the first we have six mil attack 12 missile attack yeah yeah these are your best best range unit and best crossbow unit and one of the best crossbow units and six charge bonus of course effective against armor effective against mounts can use sharpen stakes inspires needed by troops these are your elites elites and total defense of 28 with 20 armor and 8 defense skill. 20 armor is uh, great. I mean, yeah, it rivals the merchant. Great. Uh, the cost, though, is maybe not so great. Because if I remember correctly, the cost is pretty good. Yeah, 3,005 and upkeep of 1,450. That's, uh, that's a pretty steep cost. But you're now talking to like 90k maybe uh 80k sorry if we combine these four it might be like 80k this insane cost of a full stack army and of course we finally have the brilliant bodyguard 10 attack 8 charge bonus effective against armor which is great total defense of 33 with 20 armor 8 defense skill and 5 shield an amazing unit for Bree. totally an amazing unit uh, just great I would I would argue this is great. One of the probably one of the good bodyguard units. 3k cost and 1,250 upkeep. So Bree, Bree as a Wildman factions, Wildman faction, sorry, really stands out from the other Wildman factions. It it has a very big influence of the Dunedain, and their units really are a little bit more armored 
than the rest of the Wildman factions. Uh, they hit, they have a lot of armor piercing units, which is great, because you're gonna deal with a lot of armor. If you try to go for World Conquest, and if you try to conquer Ariado, you're gonna have a lot of armor on your hands if you try to pierce. Your militia is horrible, but you have great early game uh, mer uh, archers, you have uh, great crossbowmen in terms of gatekeepers, and you have a very good elite core, basically. Your good units are there to be filler, I'm gonna be honest. Like, there's some good units, like the Green Bay Spearmen, they will hold the line. And your cavalry, with you know, if you want good uh, shock cavalry, Green Bay Riders are going to be your thing. But anti-infantry, of course, merchant cavalry is going to be the answer to all of that problems. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate the support. Goodbye.